Welcome back to the Malted Man Cave. I'm Keith. I'm Dave. Tonight we're going to be doing a delicious peated whiskey from the Highlands, courtesy of George and Amy Kaplan. All right, so we're back, and as I said, tonight we're going to be doing a peated whiskey from the Highlands, courtesy of George and Amy Kaplan. Tonight we're going to be reviewing Blechen 12 Cast Strength Burgundy. Um, seriously, George and Amy, thank you guys so much. This is, I'm ruining the review a little bit, but this is a really, really, really good whiskey to me. Don't let it influence. Give it if you really like it. Give it a good score if you hate it. Yeah, it I'm... <clears throat> Going in uh, dry tonight. Yeah, Dave has not had any of this because Daddy gave samples away and Daddy <laughs> drank a lot of this. <laughs> so. uh, but at least you, you, the, uh, everyone always knows that you know your stuff when you got a... We oh. have sampled the wares yeah. <laughs> before we review it. Gotten a taste. So, Balachen. Balachen. See if you can say it. Balachen. A lot of people say Balachan. You see a lot... Of, <laughs> it's funny to see Americans... Print out you got that, that, that Balachan. Want some Balachan? So well, this especially is, this was a <clears throat> this was a Indiana release. <clears throat> yeah, so it's I got it. Let's see. It says selected and exclusively bottled for the Vine and Table, which is in Indianapolis. Um, I went to go see oh, um, yeah, Scotch for Dummies. I remember that. I remember that. And uh, you've been out there. Yeah. Yeah. Picked up some Springbank mm -hmm. Eleven Pinot Noir. Lo no, sorry, Long or Red Pinot Noir. That's right. And then that George and Amy Kaplan um, so generously donated to this. So this is, again, Balachen, 12 years, Burgundy cask matured, distilled on the 26th of October, 2005, and bottled on the 17th of July, 2018. This is cask number 316. There was only an outturn of 262 bottles, so that's it. Natural color, cask strength at 57.5% ABV. Um, do you know anything about Balachen? <clears throat> it's got a great name. <laughs> so Balachen is the heavily peated expression of Edward Dower, um, okay. which we just did an Edward Dower for our last review. Edward Dower, as many of you guys know, is a beautiful, it's kind of a farm distillery located yeah. in Pitlochry, Pitlochry, Perthshire. Mm. It's my best Scottish voice impression that I can do. Um, it's beautiful. It's it's, I think it's like the second or third most visited distillery in Scotland, even though it's one of the smallest. I think it used to be the smallest distillery, and I think Strathern or some another distillery like that became. I think it up in the Highlands kind of surpassed it as the smallest distillery. Um, anything else about Edward Hour and Balachan? Um <laughs> Don't get me started. I think it, I think it was founded in 1825, so it's been around for a while. Um, it's currently ran by Ian Henderson, who has been and worked at no less than 14 distilleries. And I think he's been in the business for 38 years. So I think he knows what he's doing. He's been let um, go every time. Fun fact. I watched, a, I think a Charles McLean, um, interview on single malt TV where he, you know, was going through Edward Dower and there was one of the fun facts, their mash ton, I think is it's either 113 or 100, I couldn't quite hear with the Scottish accent, it's either 113 years or 130 wow. years old, the mash wow. ton. So, there may be some some things going bits, on in here. Bits some and bits and pieces, pieces of <laughs> cast iron. History. <laughs> um, anything else? Yeah, so obviously, like I said, it's a peated whiskey. Um, and I think the minimum of the ppm levels is 50 i think sometimes it can be 55 maybe even 58 60 but it's a minimum of 50 their, nice. their kit as they call it oh. so without further ado um let's get into some whiskey the little Excited, bit left man. we have you, you've talked it up <clears throat> look at all right just look at that color obviously natural color we know color doesn't mean everything but when you're looking at a wine cask or a sherry cask um Look, especially color. for 12 and that's, years and only like with like one or two drams left yeah. but it was like full it was like dark, dark red dark like blood red blood red all right oh sorry man yeah don't ever touch the bottle again 
I'm giving. I'm pretty much giving you the rest oh, of it. No, yeah, save yourself go. a taste. Save no, yourself got, a taste. I got plenty. Who are you going to do the bottle for? That's right. You mean where I like it? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, let me get it. We're so professional here at the Malted Man Cave. Uh, you know some, some like, beer out of the thousand that's like, I really hope this gets weird. <laughs> do the bottle thing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, remember when we used to flip bottle? Oh, man. Don't miss those days. <laughs> what? It was, what? it was bound to happen. Yeah, and it did happen. Check yeah. out the ball vini. Murphy's Law. Double wood. Murphy's Law. What do you got in the nose? <clears throat> oh, wow. Bursting full of flavor. Oh, man. Right? So yeah. many flavors. I don't know, man. You go first, please. Excuse me. Oh, my word. Immediately smoked raspberry and strawberry mm. jam on biscuits. All of it. Literally like you're smelling it and, and eating it. Smoked, if that was a thing, which clearly it isn't, but smoked raspberry and strawberry jam yeah. on a buttery biscuit. Oh, my word. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Fig a Newtons. There's some kind of figgy Fig Newton with like the breading on top of the Fig Newton. Biscuits. Your comments bread. made it made me see <clears throat> kind of like a cherry pie and like, uh, but like it also has a little meat to it. So you take a cherry pie and a turkey and you put it into a smoker. Mm -hmm. I don't know something meaty on it. I get like a cherry glaze, so the cherries. It's definitely like red fruits. Red fruits. Um, <laughs> man, that's good. Cherry glaze. Um, Definitely a lot of different flora. I don't know what type of flower it is, but a lot of floral in there. I'm not even gonna hazard a guess. I'm slipping in my in my floral. It smells like roses. Identification. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. I, I just think it smells like a it's such a connoisseur. No, I just think it smells like it reminds <laughs> Stop me. Stop making me look bad. It, it really does smell like you my word. It smells like roses. It really does. Bitter cedar wood. Flannel shirt, which I get pretty, anytime there's it's burgundy mature, I get flannel shirt. Yeah. And I happen to think that <clears throat> if you're going to use a wine cask for a peated whiskey, there is no better wine cask than a burgundy cask. I like it better than Pinot Noir, Shiraz, and I love Pinot Noir too, but it, <clears throat> to me, burgundy is the best wine cask other than the fortified wine, obviously, of sherry for peated whiskey. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a whole lot of burgundy matured non-peated scotches, so I'm, I'm not really sure about that. Um, wow, it's so, it's so full of flavor. This is what I love. I love cast drank whiskeys that are just bursting full of flavor, and that is what this is. Mm. This is my sweet spot. This is my what is the wheelhouse? Uh, what, as most people what like is to say. The, <clears throat> what is the ABV on this? It's back, baby. I bought, it's, I bought the glass. I know. <laughs> it's official. All right, fifty-seven point five percent ABV. Wow, it's done so well. You can stick your nose deep into it. It doesn't make you pay. Oh, and this actually says it is matured in first fill red burgundy. And that is why you can really tell. It is yeah. so rich, so full of flavor. I get a maltiness, slightest bit of vanilla, cherry cola, yeah. and, and both red and black licorice. I get like our sweet red licorice, but I also get like the bitterness from, or, you know, something not, yeah. not umami, but whatever, you know, what black red yeah. liquor tastes like. Kind of reminds me of like warm <clears throat> pop. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, I get a slightest, no, no, actually it's not that slight. <laughs> Some red cayenne pepper to, to top it off. What about a... Uh, well, it's taster. Yeah, what about pop? <laughs> We're too cramped down here. <clears throat> Anybody want to donate some money for us to build a multi man cave set? Feel free. Yeah, yeah, just just put that right there. Wow. I have that offered. It's full of flavor. Yeah, I have offered. Oh, don't even start. How I many have been asking Dave for about two years now to put up a wood border along the I told Scotland you to get map. the pieces. <laughs> you did. 
no. Things move slow down here in the Malted Man Cave. We need Still a... Still gotta uh, do some coins to send need, to our Patreons. <laughs> we need a Miss I'm broke. I'm broke. <laughs> or no, we need the crim We need the criminal. We don't need Yeah, because Miss Hamishan was not the one that was no, the benefactor, She was bro. just crazy. Um... I literally get the exact same notes. Um, I'm sure if I dug deep enough, there'd probably be some discrepancies between the nose yeah. and the palate. But I get smoked, it's all there, man. smoked raspberry and strawberry jam on a biscuit. <clears throat> Maltiness. Fig Newtons again. Black and red licorice. Bitter cedar wood. Yeah, Cherry no. cola, and then, man, it ends on some a fiery red cayenne pepper say, in a good way. Your red cayenne pepper mixed with like the uh, the smokiness, it reminds me <clears throat> of like a like a good hot sauce mm -hmm. kind of heat, kind of savoriness to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Oh man. Mm. Is there almost no. that warms the belly. Yeah, it'll it'll get you there. That'll <laughs> on a cold night this a little nipple do ya. What about the, the finish? Long, short, mm. medium, you know what stand out? I do think it's a little bit <clears throat> short for it. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Let me see here. I think it's I think it's a medium to long. I wish it was longer. The the tingling on my tongue stays, that's for sure. One thing I'm going to say, and I don't want to discourage some people, because anytime I say, there is, I've had whiskeys that have a, a gross cough syrup note to it, and then I've had whiskey that's like, wow, that really works with some kind of delicious cough syrup. You know, obviously, to me, yeah, you're right. It isn't, I originally, I thought I was going to say a very long finish, but it's more medium to long. It's not extremely long, but no. you get smoked raspberry. Oh, but it's all there, man. Smoked it's raspberry like, and it's strawberry It's better jam. because it just rolls mm -hmm. along with the flavor. There's no one that just is. Mm -hmm. Maltiness, vanilla, yep. red and black licorice, a heavy dose of the red cayenne pepper. And there's a little bit of like cherry cough syrup. Yeah. So I don't want to scare people away because I've said that a couple it times. Is, and people are like, no, but I'm, not gonna, only, I'm not going to like that. It's but only it cherry cough syrup if you're like looking for it. And if you don't, and <clears throat> like him and I, we probably don't mind cherry cough syrup. So that's it's not my favorite thing, but yeah, there's all kinds of other things in here that are so sweet and, oh, it works, just and then it's balanced with the pea well. and the maltiness. Blends well. It's just a slight, it's like maybe not eucalyptus. Mm hmm. Menthol, maybe, maybe it's maybe it's all like the the cherry with like a menthol. Ooh, I like that idea. Maybe it's more cherry menthol than cough syrup. Kind of reminds me of like a mojito. Mm -hmm. There is like a minty menthol, mm. right? Minty menthol, but it's like cherry infused or raspberry infused. Mm. Um, Malton Man Cave Mark approved. Yeah. Oh man, this is delicious. It mm. makes me a little sad that it's like how many mm. bottle lines? Only. 256? 262 bottles. 262. Wow. Mike, uh, Michael from Sunday Evening Scotch, he also lives in Indiana. He got this and he loves this as well. Oh, and man. we've talked about this many times. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing tomorrow night? <laughs> what? We'll come on over. <laughs> Have a bottle. Day from the cave. The creeper. <laughs> All right. Um, Sliding on into those What did you get this? Malted Man, <laughs> Malted Man Cave Bark. What are you going to give me? Oh, man. Um, it's... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to give it... So, I haven't had very much. I'm interested to finish this little bit. Um, I really like it. So, I'm going to give it a 94. Whoa! Oh! Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, I mean, oh so part of that is also, too, is that this is the only time I'm ever going to have this. And it's probably, um, so wow. for Yowzers. this, yeah, for, for a one-time dram, it, it, I mean, it does Isn't everything. it, like, so flavorful? Oh, it's so flavorful. It's bursting full so of flavor. So, of course, there are scotches. So, I want to put a little asterisk next to my, my high score and just say that it's, 
it's high because of the chance occasion to try it. I'm probably never going to ever run across this again. So this is a type of peated whiskey that you like. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to give it, um, man, I'm tempted to give it even higher than I was planning. It is a 92 out of 100 for me, which is a very high mark, especially since I'm trying to be more conservative, conservative with my marks. It's really, really good. This is one of the best 12 year olds I've ever had. Um, I couldn't believe it was only 12 years old. <clears throat> um, it is so good. George and Amy, thank you so much yeah. for this generous, generous whiskey. Yeah. Um, 92 out of 100 for me. Question of the night. Um, we, well, we weren't. I was watching yeah. the Lakers Clippers game. Um, I think everybody was. Obviously, I have always rooted for LeBron being from Ohio. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with LeBron right now, but I'm still, I think I'm still rooting for him. Still rooting for him. Um, but the question of the night is, and we agreed, is LeBron no longer the best player in the world? Yeah, is uh, Kawhi, is Kawhi or, or KD surpassed him? Yeah. I think those are the two legitimate contenders, right? Would you agree? Or would you throw some? Go ahead and answer. Well, what about up. Giannis? We saw him get shut down because he can't. Uh, he's amazing. Giannis is amazing, but he's too he's one-dimensional. He's not there yet. He's, he's too one if, if he gets an outside shot, yeah. he might become the greatest of all time. If yeah. he could get an outside shot, be unstoppable. we've never seen anything like that with someone no. that athletic at that height getting to the basket ever. Has anybody, in my has anybody improved their shot that much from, I know, like, Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan. <laughs> yeah. comes to mind. Yeah, but I didn't Kawhi? Yeah. Kawhi wasn't that good was at nice. first. Yeah. Um. So, anyway, so, Kawhi, Durant, LeBron, what are we looking at? I just think Kevin Durant. It's not, it's not a fair. I think Kevin Durant is the best. Um, he's who I would pick up first on uh, if I was picking up teams. I would pick up Kevin first because of his pure shooting ability. Over LeBron right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. me and Dave talking off camera like, man, he just looks slow. He doesn't have it. But then it's weird. Like, one minute he has the explosiveness. Like, whoa, he's back. And right. then, like, then he'll have, like, six plays in a row. I'm like, this is sad. He, he's 34 years old, right? Yeah. So, I mean. He's feeling it. That's a lot of it's not. It's, it's not a slide on LeBron. Like, he. How many minutes? Either he's he the average? best or he's the second best in my opinion. I think no. he's the second best. I don't think he's past Michael. If he gets. If he wins this year with the Lakers. Yeah. Maybe I'll start having that discussion again for me. Uh, how is he, will he be the, he'll be the only player that retired from the Bulls. I don't Third, remember. I don't remember. Uh, I don't know. So, wh who do you think? Who do you think is now the best player? Um, Katie, so, Katie. well, you said you would pick him. No, up so Katie is who I would pick to be on my team because I don't have to worry about his defense because I got the D. <laughs> uh, I think Kawhi is the best all around basketball player because his defense is under. Yeah, his defense. His, but also the way he moves and in the guy can obviously blend with any offense, any defense, any team, any structure. He just comes in and plays his role. I feel like dude's a weirdo though. <laughs> no, no, he's just a homebody. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I know, but that stemmed from an original. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Well, no wonder, no wonder he hides in his house. We're so, we're so cruel. No, he was like that before. He, but I know. Dude's a weird cat, but he is great at basketball. I'll say this to give him a compliment after that negative. I, he's the way he moves and with his big hands, it's and the, how smooth and fluid he. Is, it's the closest I've seen to Michael Jordan. Like the way he, his type, his style, and yeah. the way he moves, mm -hmm. and. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and like that mid-range jumper, kind of like Jordan did, and you see him kind of like move it with that big old mitt and then pass it off. Yeah, it's it reminds me of Jordan. I'm he, not saying he's good at Jordan, but it reminds me of Jordan. He has as good a handle as like Kyrie, but he can as good. Oh, Kyrie's so but, good. Yeah, back that train up. <laughs> he's not, no, no, he's Kyrie's. Got, Kyrie. He's got good handles, but it's not on Kyrie's level. You oh oh oh, you're saying yeah. Well, yes, I agree with that, but he's he's as close as you can get with being a six seven. Yes, exactly. 
Yeah. So Kyrie. All right. I will. So there's a new king of LA. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not Anthony yet. Davis. He got to work. I thought he had a better jumper. He was broke. Both LeBron yeah, but, and AD were broke. Yeah. That was ugly. So there's only they can only go up from here. And once they get Kuz and Rondo back, yeah. it'll be good. Yeah. That'll be fine. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to Rondo. Dude, he's so good though. When it matters. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Le LeBron <laughs> loves him some Rondo. Yeah. yeah. All right. 94 out of 100. 92 out of 100. Malted Man Cave approved. Thank you so much, George and Ames. Scotch is king. Bourbon is best. <laughs>